Cancerian family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at your energy and the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love for the upcoming days and week. This is a general reading Cancer. If it resonates with you right now, please hit that like button to let me know. And if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community, but you haven't had the opportunity to do so, feel free to subscribe. Keep in mind this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Cancerian placements. And to the cross watchers, you're also welcome. Feel free to come on in, take the messages as they best resonate for you. Otherwise, Cancer and cross watcher, feel free to reverse the roles. And if you feel that your messages are not here, please do not try to force this reading. I do advise just to check out your other placements as your messages may be over there. Otherwise, you can click out Cancer and tune back in at a later stage when I release a new reading for your sign. I hope you've all been well, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your patience. I am trying to get back on track. I am a migraine sufferer for those of you who are new here to the channel. So welcome and welcome back to those subscribers. Um, that have followed me for quite some time now. I did suffer a migraine over the weekend, but I am coming out the other side. So here we are. <laughs> Cancer, let's dive on in. We're going to open up the reading by taking a look at your current energy towards the person that you're connecting to. So spirit angels and guides. Okay, first card coming through Cancer is the Ace of Cups. Okay, spirit angels and guides. Please show us the current energy of Cancer when it comes to the person that they are connecting to. Current energy of Cancer. Hmm, okay. So Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles is here. You're not sure whether or not you should open yourself up to a certain person, a particular person. You're not sure of whether you should open your heart back up or if you should make yourself available to somebody here. So I'm just seeing you sort of feeling indecisive here with the Two of Pentacles. You're kind of like not sure whether or not you should. I feel like this is you opening yourself up to somebody, uh, making yourself available to somebody here. With the Two of Pentacles, I feel like it really just depends how this person comes at you. It really just depends what energy they are coming to you with right so you're all you're going to know cancer by the energy that they are approaching you with six of cups is here wow okay so there is a special connection that you share to somebody here that you have with somebody here for some of you cancerians you may be missing this person um if you're not missing this person this is someone that you you share a special bond or you you have a special connection to okay uh, but they are in your energy and cancer cancerians are known uh, to be connected to the past okay it's just it's it's something that is connected to the sign of cancer um, cancer rules the fourth house and the fourth house of astrology can represent memories so Mm. yeah there there is someone here that really you know you have a you have a soft spot for cancer you have a soft spot for this person um i can see it so let's not lie about it it's obvious here for some of you cancers you still carry a soft spot for this person but you're just in two minds or you're just unsure of whether or not you should open yourself up to this person or be available to this person for some of you with the ace of cups it really is it, it could speak to which i'll clarify it could speak to giving this person a second chance maybe you're thinking mm, should i give this person a second chance this person with the Two of Pentacles may be wishy-washy with you here. Oh, the Eight of Cups is here, Cancer. Mm. I can see in either case you're not happy in the current situation. Okay, you're not happy in the current situation. Um, what's that screen like? I feel like when I'm looking at the screen, it looks a little 
muggy or looks a little blurry but it's very hot here cancer so I do apologize if the screen isn't clear yeah you're not happy the eight of cups tells me that you're dissatisfied with the current situation maybe this person maybe this person walked away from you maybe they turned their back on you knight of pentacles is here could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn nine of pentacles in either case cancer i feel that you know you're trying to forget about this person i can see here you're, tr you're trying to forget about someone here or you're trying not to focus on them here in either case cancer with the knight of pentacles you're not making any plans or you're not making any future plans with regards to this person that you're connecting to right now okay that's where it stops it stops right here and i feel that you are focusing on yourself here the knight of pentacles looking to the nine of pentacles this is you investing back into yourself you're like you know what rosa forget about this person i'm not i'm not really caring what they're doing right now i'm just going to focus on me i'm going to focus on my personal growth i'm going to focus on on my goals for 2024 i, I want to grow i want to look after myself you know I, i'm seeing um an up leveling happening here for you cancer for some of you you're just focusing on your confidence on your self-esteem or just improving yourself in some way um yeah for some of you like i look at the nine of pentacles and this is a, an energy of someone who doesn't need anybody else you know you can stand on your own two feet and i feel like that's what you're focusing on here like this is really good energy, Nine of Pentacles. You know your value, you know your worth here. You know you have a lot to offer the right person. And if this person can't appreciate that, or if this person cannot see that, you're like over here, Cancer, thinking, oh, well, like this person misses out. They're gonna miss out on a really good thing. And you know that, Cancer. Okay, so no love lost here. Yeah, look at this, the chariot. I love this. You know what? As I was kind of like tuning into your reading this morning, funnily enough, I know the chariot speaks to the sign of cancer in tarot, but I, I visioned the, the chariot. And the message I was getting with the chariot was cancer. For some of you Cancerians, you may have veered off the beaten track. I feel like some of you Cancerians got a little sidetracked and you kind of gotten off track. Um, you did a little detour. I've got the we've got the nine of wands here. I feel like you may have entertained someone here, or you may have been entertaining someone here um, that really had you at hello kind of energy. And I feel like you kind of got swept up here by someone who is very charming, someone who is very influential, someone that you are attracted to. And I'm seeing that that's where you kind of veered off the beaten track. You know, you kind of went off track, Cancer. Um, but the chariot tells me that you're getting back on track. Okay, that you're, you're coming through this week so much more focused on, on you and your goals and you're not really focusing on this person yeah you are disappointed in this person because i feel like this person uh, took you for granted here you know i see the knight of wands as an energy of someone who is very inconsistent um and at all they they're showing me that they're not really bothered by their actions. This person isn't really bothered by their actions. And and that's just not going to bode well uh, for you, Cancer. Okay, because, yeah, you're not going to entertain anyone who doesn't take you seriously or who isn't fully, you know, 100% all in. Hmm. Okay, what's your Seven of Pentacles with the Emperor? Seven of Pentacles with the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like this is just confirming what I was saying, Cancer. The Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. You want someone who knows what they want, okay? 
you, you, you're at this point where you're only going to be investing energy um, into someone who knows that they want you. Okay, you're not going to invest any, any energy into someone who doesn't know what they want. And there's the two of cups, which is confirming like what I just said, basically. You know, you're only going to invest energy into someone who wants to be with you, who who knows that they want this connection or who knows that they want this relationship. Okay. Mm. Now, um, for those of you, there was someone who did point out that they feel like I can't remember your name so I do apologize if you are listening to this but you did mention that I I mention a lot of the past person so if if the past person does come up in the readings you guys like that's just how the reading goes right I, I don't do that on purpose it's just what comes up at the time um, but I will endeavor to be very mindful to those of you who are not always dealing with someone from the past. I get that. When I say the past, it could just be someone that you've connected to last week or someone that you were dealing with last week, Who, whoever is in your closest energy. Who, you know what I mean? Like, um, so that's what I mean. So past or present, guys. Um, yeah, please just use your intuition. So uh, how much time have we got? We're in 11 minutes in. I do. I did want to clarify this Eight of Cups just really quickly before we go over to your person's energy. So why is the Eight of Cups here? The Page of Cups. Yeah, so the Page of Cups is, you, you're, you're feeling dissatisfied, Cancer, because the Page of Cups to me is an energy, it's like a breadcrumbing energy. It's someone who is giving you bare minimum in this connection. They're only just putting in enough to kind of just keep you there um, or make you feel like they want something more. But the reality is, is they're breadcrumbing you. You know, like the, here's the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups, Page of Cups. These are kind of like my breadcrumbing cards. You know, they're giving you just enough to kind of keep you there. But, you know, you're no idiot. You're no fool. Um, you're catching on okay because you can see here that this person isn't with the knight of pentacles isn't moving the relationship forward or they're not they're not progressing the their feelings oh i've got a runny nose apologize okay so we're going to put all the cards back in the deck and we're going to take a look at your person's energy now so spirit angels and guides Please show us the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love. What is this person's current energy right now towards the sign of Cancer? Towards the sign of Cancer. What is this person's current energy towards the sign of Cancer? Please show us this person's current energy towards the sign of Cancer. Okay, well there we have it. We have the Four of Cups here. The Page of Swords. Well there they are, you know. Page of Swords, Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Two of Wands. Mm. Okay. Well, this person with the Page of Swords is in the current energy of spying on you or keeping tabs on you. Okay, they're, they're keeping tabs on you. Um... I am getting an energy of someone who, with these two cards, they don't really know what they want. They don't really know what they want moving forward because this person is thinking about their future or, or what they want for themselves. But the Page of Swords to me is, it's a card of energetically, it's I'm not sure. I'm uncertain. I'm not really clear. Hmm. There's a misaligned energy here. Mm. Mm. So this person is in two minds um, about what it is that they want. And I feel like they're giving you mixed signals, Cancer. Because with the Four of Cups, I feel like this person will continue to show interest in you. Okay, they will continue to call you, to text you, to meet up with you from time to time. Um, but 
you're you're growing tired of the same events playing out okay you're not satisfied with what this person like like i said you're not satisfied or you're not happy with the energy that they're coming towards you with and look you're you're closed off here that that's the energy i was feeling from you at the start of your reading you're closed off you're not sure whether you should open your energy up to this person you're not sure if you're wasting your time here cancer two of cups there's the two of cups so look this person does feel a really great connection with you they do see you as someone that they truly get along with but like i said cancer um, I'm feeling like with just the cards that are on the table already, they're just not sure what they want for themselves here. This could be someone with the Four of Cups, because I am seeing three cups at the bottom of the card here. This could be someone who is talking to many different people right now. The Page of Swords is an energy of someone who is kind of just doing their homework. They're feeling really curious, uh, curious to get to know you, uh, yeah you know but i feel like this is their energy not just with you but maybe with others as well at this time sorry the screen is really annoying me cancer so let me just give it a little bit of a wipe sorry <laughs> hopefully oh, that didn't really oh okay there we go that's a bit better okay spirit please show us the energy of this person judgment card is here judgment card Here's the Knight of Pentacles. Strong Earth energy here. We've got Air energy. We've got Scorpio energy. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Hermit card, um, which is Virgo energy. Ace of Cups. So, yeah. Look, I feel like right now, this person is lost. Okay, they're lost. Yeah, they're lost. They, they don't know what they want. They don't know which direction they're headed in. They don't know which direction they're going. You know, that's the card of the hermit. That's the energy of the hermit, sorry. Um, I feel like this person's trying to navigate their way through life. And I'm kind of getting like they're kind of stumbling. I'm not sure why I'm feeling like they're stumbling, but I'm getting that they're stumbling here. If this person has been um, silent with you, I feel like they will break the silence here. You did have the Ace of Cups, so this person is coming towards you. I'm even seeing it here with the Judgment card, right? They're coming back around. So sometimes a Judgment card can be like a second chance, someone coming in for a second chance, but I'm more seeing it like someone coming back around. It's like a Mercury retrograde feeling, you know, someone coming back around. Um, if this person has ghosted you, they're coming back around. Mm. But sorry, Cancer, I, I don't see the story changing here for this person. The Knight of Pentacles is showing up in their energy and you had the Knight of Pentacles. So they're coming back around. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, this person isn't coming back around to, you know, Um, how do how do I say this? How do I find the right words? They're not coming back around to take things to the next level here with you. They're still coming back around with the same energy, which is the Page of Cups. You know, they they're coming back around because they they like hanging out with you. They like spending time with you. Um, they see you as a friend. You know, Page of Cups. They see you as good company. They like talking to you, you know, it's the Page of Cups is a pleasant energy, but that's all there is really to it. OK. Mm. And, you know, they like talking to you. Like I said, with the with the Hermit card, this person is lost. They don't know what they want. They could be feeling lonely and they could just be feeling they could just be um, filling up time. Is that the is that the right way? Filling up time. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right words. 
killing time. They're just killing time because they're lonely. Yeah, they're bored, right? This is someone, Four of Cups, that gets bored very easily. So I'm just going to clarify the Hermit card. So let's take a look at this Hermit energy. Tell me more about the Hermit card. Tell me more about the Hermit card for Cancer, for Cancer's person's energy. The three, yeah, the three of pentacles, see? Mm. This person is, yeah, they're bored. They want to reconnect with you here with the three of pentacles. I'm just going to get another energy. Hmm. See, the three of pentacles to the four of pentacles. Nothing's changed, guys. It, it can feel like with the three of pentacles that this person is breaking the silence or they're coming back around, maybe even giving you the impression that they're, they're going to take the relationship to the next stage or the next level. But because the four of pentacles is coming in after the three of pentacles, it's a stagnated energy. It's, it's like a, a false energy. It's false. Um, they, give, they might be giving you or giving off this impression um, that they're ready for the next stage or they're, or they're ready for something serious or they're ready for something more on an emotional level. But the Four of Pentacles tells me that this person is still closed off. Okay. Mm. or they're emotionally unavailable here what else do I want to clarify um, let's clarify this four of cups tell me more about the four of cups in this person's energy tell me more about the four of cups the page of wands so yeah you're going to get a call from this person. You're going to get a text message from this person. This person can sense that you're 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 withdrawn. They can sense energetically that you're acting different towards them. Um, the Page of Wands with the King of Cups is here, and the Seven of Pentacles. So look. They are going to put some kind of effort into the connection this week, uh, Cancer. They will call you. They will text you. They're going to be very sweet, kind, caring, loving, all the things. Um, they're going to be even a little charming here, a little cheeky, a little playful in their messages towards you. I'm not getting an apology from this person. I'm not really sure if this person is even aware of their actions they're kind of like picking things up from where you guys left it the last time. Mm. Because the page of wands to me is an energy of someone who really isn't aware of their actions. They're not really aware of, of they're not really cognizant of, of their environment and what's going on around them. They're all just, they're just about me, me, me and what it is that I want and this person wants to talk to you. They're trying to like flirt with you. Um, mm. they're, they're coming in very cheeky and acting as if nothing's happened. Okay. Because they can see why, because they can see that you're a little different towards them. And this person just wants to make sure that everything is good between you. okay let's have a look at this judgment energy yeah the ten of cups look at that ten of cups is here i feel like this person is coming back around for like some kind of a reunion with you cancer like the ten of cups it's a happy joyful card look at this emotionally happy i feel like this person is excited to reconnect with you there's something about you that this person really there's something about you, Cancer, um, energetically, that makes this person feel good. And if this person is lost, if this person is feeling lonely, um, you're filling that void. Okay, let's be real. You're filling that void, Cancer. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna even look at this person's next actions. We can see that they're gonna reach out to you. So let's take a look at the possible outcome of this situation this week. So I'm gonna put all the cards back in the deck and we're gonna take a look at the possible outcome. So if there's anything in this reading, Cancer, that is resonating with you, please hit that like button to let me know. And it also helps to push the algorithm out there for other Cancerians that may need to hear this message or come across this message. Every little bit helps. Uh, with regards to personal readings, guys, I will be back up and running in February. So hold on to those chariot horses. I'm not too far away with the personals, Cancer. All right, so let's take a look at the possible outcome between Cancer and Cancer's person this week. Okay, King of Pentacles. Ooh. King of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. Are you serious? Mm. Ace of Swords. So there is going to be communication with the Ace of Swords. The Knight of Cups, yeah, I'm not surprised. The Hanged Man. Mm. Yep, there's a Judgment card, so someone is coming back around, Cancer. There is someone here that is coming back around, okay? Mm. Um, you will... Uh, receive communication from this person. I see this very, very strongly here. Mm. Uh, but you are focused on your stability here, Cancer. I don't feel with the King of Pentacles that you're budging too much um, because this person is still coming to you with this unstable energy. They're still coming towards you with this wishy-washy energy and that's not going to go down well for you especially if you're coming in with the king of pentacles the king of pentacles doesn't entertain wishy-washy energy okay hasn't got time for it so i feel that you are very committed and discipline dis disciplining yourself when it comes to this person Mm. this person will approach you with this with some kind of like a romantic offer okay it'll be like hey cancer um would you like to catch up when are you free next when are you available i'd love to see you i miss you like this is someone who is going to sweet talk you here they are coming towards you with like the right energy emotionally But the fact that the Two of Pentacles is here, mm, I'm not trusting it. Mm. Yeah. You're viewing this person as really, really with the hanged man. You're viewing this person or you're viewing this connection as not really going anywhere. It's not really going anywhere. Um, so I, I feel with the hangman that you're reluctant here to entertain this person. I'm just going to clarify this Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry, cards fell on the ground. Uh, sorry, fell. Uh, you've got the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords clarifying the Two of Pentacles, which pretty much just kind of describes what I'm saying. You don't trust this person. You don't trust why they're coming back around. Mm. Ten of Swords is here. Look at all of this swords energy. Like, when, when it comes to a relationship, I feel like the, these swords represents the mind and being in the head. And when it comes to a connection, as soon as someone 
someone's energy makes you feel like you're in your head too much, you already know it's not a good sign. You already know it's not a good sign. If you're analyzing and evaluating a connection, you already know it's because it's like a, a fight and flight energy that you're in. You know? On a subconscious level, Cancer, with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like you know deep down inside it's it's a dead end. Okay, it's, it's a connection that's not going anywhere with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like on a subconscious level or in on an on or in an unconscious level, it's a dead end. Okay. You might not be fully aware of that yet, but I feel like your intuition knows it. I feel like on a deeper subconscious level, you know it. So let's grab some advice to close out your reading. Advice for Cancer, please, Spirit. Advice for Cancer. We are using the Animal Spirit cards. Thank you for tuning back into another reading here with me, Cancer. I really do appreciate all of your support here on the channel. Um, I know some of you have requested some readings moving forward, so I am going to endeavor to fulfill those requests. Okay, advice for cancer. Oh, okay. There's the rabbit rabbit cards coming through. Um, you don't trust this person. If you feel anxious or nervous, um, that's a sign that you are in a fight and flight response. And, and it's also a sign that you don't feel safe around this person or you don't feel you don't feel safe you don't feel secure this person doesn't make you feel safe and secure it's not a good energy to be in cancer okay so please trust the tr trust your body your body is like it sends all the clues that you need right like tune into what the body's response is because um yeah if you're having a knee-jerk reaction like it's definitely a warning sign the oyster well wow. I like the oyster for you because this is you recognizing that you have really special and amazing qualities um, that not everyone has privilege or access to so the oyster is you kind of like closing your energy off and not letting this person have access to your goodwill or good nature like there's a reservation here you're reserving it for someone special you're reserving it for someone who deserves it okay hmm Okay, that's interesting. I was just seeing what else. Uh, tell me more. Oh, I am getting here. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting like a sexual energy coming in with these two cards. So for some of you, your intuition may be warning you that this person's just approaching you for a good time or just like a hookup. So uh, just be aware of that. And I'm seeing the oyster as you closing your sexual energy off. Man or female, woman or man, it doesn't matter. You're just closing your sexual energy off to this person. Firefly. Well, the firefly to me is like an energy that's kind of like inconsistent. It's like the spark is there. The connection is there, but it's fleeting. It's like in and out energy. And, you know, the cofters cannot burn when the spark is on and off, on and off. Like it needs to be consistent. So overall, with these three cards, it may feel like this person is trying to reignite the spark here just for a hookup or just for a good time, for something casual, for something semi-permanent. I'm not seeing anything serious here on the cards with this person this week, Cancer. So that's where I'm going to leave your reading. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which part of the reading best resonated for you. Let me know if I mention the sign of your person also, um, as that helps me to connect to your energy better. Cancer, stay blessed, stay well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.